Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Today we're continuing our Forza Horizon 5 Let's Play. This time though, with a little bit of a twist because this is my Thrustmaster racing wheel. Up until about five minutes ago, I haven't actually used a racing wheel for Forza Horizon 5. So today, we're gonna give it a go, see what it's like, and I can share some of my thoughts. Now, real quick before we do get into today's video, I know I'm gonna get some comments from some of you guys asking, Nick, what racing wheel are you using? Well, this is my Thrustmaster TSXW racing wheel base. And on it, I have this Ferrari 599 Thrustmaster racing rim. Today's video is actually been sponsored by our friends over at Thrustmaster. So if you do want to check out any of their racing wheels, I'll have a link in the description down below. They have a bunch of different racing wheels at a bunch of different price points for PC, Xbox One, and PS4 and 5. Thanks so much to Thrustmaster for sponsoring today's video. Back to Forza Horizon 5. Now in today's video, I wanted to try this, our jungle expedition. This is one of our final expeditions that we're actually going to have to do but if we do this, it opens up the Dirt Festival. Hola, my friend. Are you ready to get going? So, Rabbi, you said something about a big cat. A long story. I tracked it all the way into the jungle, but lost my notes. Uh, why don't I explain it on the way? When you say, like, a big, wild, ferocious cat living somewhere in Mexico, I have no idea what to expect, so, um... Considering we're driving a vehicle uh, basically with no doors and no roof, um, today might not end very well, so uh, pl please bear with me. Oh, we got a danger sign. Thank you. And a lovely view of Mexico as well. Thank you very much. That was a nice little danger sign there, actually. I was given coordinates of where this big cat was last sighted, but the plane had mechanical problems on takeoff. I barely got it off the ground. So you dumped your cargo? Exacto! I lost everything and I never even saw the cat. But now you're here to help. And it's on the way. Okay, why do I have a feeling now it's about to be a kitten? Wait, 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 wait. Can I just say as well, I love the fact that we're driving a Jeep trail cat into the jungle in search of a jungle cat. Can I just say though, I don't know why, but I have a feeling it's gonna be a house cat. I'm, I'm not sure why. Anyways, thank you very much, Rami. We've got a ton of side objectives and even another barn find rumor. Hello. Uh, wait, it's... Wait, it's here? You want me to go and find a barn now? I mean, I can certainly do that. Anyway, side objectives. I need to find Ramiro's pilot outfit, okay? I need to find the flight recorder, discover Ramiro's rainy day fund, and his pilot helmet. Okay, so there's a ton of- wait, wait, I've already just driven past one. Turn around, trail cat. Here we go, Jeep trail cat. I'm not sure what that one is. That was the flight recorder. We definitely want to do all of these secondary objectives, by the way. Just so that way we're getting maximum number of accolades. There is another secret box in front of us. So I'm going to need to take that little ramp and hit it. Okay, come on. My helmet! Gracias, my friend. I've been looking for this one. Yeah, I definitely don't think we nailed that one, but, um, you know, we got it in the end. My mini-map is telling me that there's another one over here. There it is. And there is our little jump, so spin the trail cat around again. And I should be able to- oh. Alright, that wasn't what I thought it was. Can I just say, I absolutely love these expeditions. They are so much fun. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the standard racing in Forza Horizon games, and it's- it's really, really- no. All right, gonna need to try that one again. The races in Horizon 5 are really, really fun, but there's just something so chill about all of these expeditions. I absolutely love them. There we go. So bang into that, that'll slow us down, do a little bit of a three-point turn, and we've got another thing. Oh, my friend. Just some winnings I made on the street scene. There's my car. Okay, Rami, and then, oh, whoa, 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 never mind, we don't want to do that yet, that's the exit, never mind. Since we've got this little barn find logo on our mini-map, I feel like we should find it. I mean, I assume it's gonna be in the middle of the jungle, like, where are we going? What are we, are we actually looking for, like, a proper barn find? Because I'm in a mission, but I don't really know what to expect, like, those are big, big trailers. Am I supposed to actually be looking for... <laughs> Very nice. Am I supposed to be looking for a barn find? Okay, if there's gonna be a barn find somewhere in here, I feel like there it is! 
There it is! I was just about to say it's gonna be right here! So we do! Even though we're in the middle of a mission, we've got a barn find unlock. That is sweet. Let's go! Finally, what is that? It's the XJR-15. Rápido y raro. And a long way from its native habitat in the UK. I wonder how it got here. So that's one of the really special new Jags in Forza Horizon 5. I am super excited to try it out and see what it's got because that is going to be a really fun car to mess around with. Anyways, on my mini map, I think I saw our final objective, which was to find the pilot's outfit. Okay, and here we go. Up, 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 up. Do not fall off. That was close. And I think that should be good. And now... Got him! Let's go! Thank you very much, Jeep Trail Cat. I love these little secondary objectives. They are awesome. There we go. There's Rami's little car. And uh, hopefully it's just fine now. Alex wants the biggest dirt racing program Horizon has ever seen. And we are going to give it to him. Deep into the jungle. All right, I like the sound of this. Uh, Rami, are you supposed to be telling me something? Or are we racing? Am I supposed to just be following the destination checkpoints. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know where we're going. Yeah, we're going to the Mayan temples over here. Are we gonna have to do a little bit of an objective here? I'm, I'm not sure. So new objective, oh, we just passed that objective. Cut across the river. There's tons of objective. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm just saying. There was a perfectly good road right next to us, and we decided to do that. This game is starting to get very, very meta with some of these characters. Oh, here's the destination. Okay. Oh. Did I? Is that close enough? Thank you. Oh, we're done. Wait, what? Is the Mexican jungle good enough for Alex and the best dirt racers in the world? It's perfect. I just hope the dirt racers are good enough for the Mexican jungle. Money! <laughs> I had the same thought. That is an awesome looking festival hidden away in the jungle. There are so many people there. Horizon Wilds. A little festival of my own where we celebrate all things dirt racing. Oh, this is going to be good. I've started you off simple with a few events and the drivers and fans have challenges to match. So, off you go and get dirty. Look at how many events I have on my map. Orange, orange, orange. Orange is literally everywhere. Yeah, you've started me off simple. My guy, you gave me about a hundred new events. Anyways though, if I pause the game, we actually have another Horizon Adventure thing to spend so we can open up our last expedition if we want down at street scene that could be cool or we could come over to horizon rush and maybe do something there we can race against the train that could be fun we've got the wilds what's this flood sweat and gears take on the horizon wave crashers team i mean we can certainly give that a go now we've got this event down here where we're racing some legitimate jet skis and i think if we do well there we'll have enough accolades to do another expansion so yeah Let's head all the way down there. If we are gonna be driving in the jungle though, I, I feel like we need a better car. Like, I mean, the Mustang's cool, but we need something to actually drive around here. So maybe we should buy a new car. Wait, 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 what am I doing? I have an awesome car that I can build into an off-roader that hasn't been in a Forza game for a very long time. This is the Toyota FJ40, an awesome little off-roader and Hopefully it's got some cool customization and we can turn it into an absolute beast of an off-roader. This 6.7 liter V8 turbo diesel, is that the same engine from the Ford F450 Dually? Because that has over a thousand foot-pounds of torque, bone stock. You know what? I, I think that could be pretty cool. So yeah, let's go for that. We've already got some all-wheel drive. Are there any body mods? Yes, there are. No way. We've got a big old front bumper crash bar. We've got some rear wing stuff as well. We can toss a big old cage on the roof or, or an actual rear wing for some reason. I love the look of that. In terms of our tire compound, we've got a whole bunch of stuff out here. 
but I think we're definitely gonna want some grippy, grippy boys. So let's go for off-road tires. If this is gonna be the car for the jungle, I think dedicated off-road tires are gonna be the play. Let's also make them a little bit thicker just so that way I don't get stuck in any mud. I'm feeling like an A-class build would be a nice place for this to be. So let's get some anti-roll bars. Let's get some weight reduction. That already puts us up into A-class. Let's upgrade our drivetrain a little bit with some nice little drive shaft upgrades. Nice little differential upgrades. Let's go for an off-road diff. So we now weigh 3,000 pounds. We have 800 horsepower in this thing. But maybe cooler than that is we have 1,750 foot-pounds of torque. That's a pulley beast. This is definitely a way, way cooler vehicle to rip it around the jungle in. This thing looks so awesome and it's the middle of the night. So what are we gonna be racing against some of these jet skis? Like those look really cool, but we're gonna need a really, really good vehicle. No way are we whipping out one of my favorite cars in Forza Horizon 5. The Ford Bronco R has been such a beast for me in this game, doing a little bit of everything from climbing the volcano to ripping it straight through the jungle. This has been a really, really good car for me, so hopefully it can do well in this showcase mission. We're gonna need to push, though. I'm definitely getting some flashbacks from the Forza Horizon 4 mission with all of the super bikes and stuff. Those guys are crazy. Whoa, look at that waterfall. Okay, we might need to come back there in our Land Cruiser and absolutely send it down there. The Bronco R is looking pretty good. The jet skis might actually be pulling away from me a tiny little bit. We, may, we, we need to pick up the pace. That was a donkey. I saw a donkey. Okay, now is not the time to be distracted by the wildlife. I have got to go, please. The, the jet skiers are running away. That is not good. It's so lively with a wheel as well. Who put a tree in my way? Holy, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just, I'm looking at things and reacting and just trying not to crash. This thing has such jelly suspension, so every time you get on the gas or get on the brakes, it's like, whoa, it's like being on a roller coaster. Or, or I guess a donkey. Come on, Bronco, there's the finish line. Straight line, straight line, go, go. Got him. Let's go, Bronco R. That second half of that race, I had to drive the absolute wheels off of that thing but that was a seriously cool event. That was a nice one. Well, we have taken down the watercraft. Thank you very much. And now we can jump back in our Land Cruiser and maybe maybe do an off-road race. That could be fun. Before that though, we've got a wheel spin. Come on, give me something good. Let's go 100,000 credits. That's nice. What if we put you in the Hall of Fame? You're on your way there anyway. Let's just take it one adventure at a time. That's actually a good point. Now, I'm not sure if this is actually how it works, but I think to get to the Hall of Fame, I need to tick off every single one of these boxes. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need ten more. Jeez, I still have a lot of work to do then. If that's gonna be the case, I should definitely open up the street scene because I've still got two locked events in there. We don't need to do that today, but we're, we're gonna use our points and unlock that so we can Why do it maybe in the next area, episode. We'll see. Like I was saying before though, this is a Toyota Land Cruiser. I, I should not be driving this thing on the... Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Road. Drop it straight down into the jungle. That is so sick. So this barn is about three miles this way, straight through the center of the jungle. Oh, this is so cool. No way, look at the danger sign. We're jumping the wrong way through it. Still getting, I mean, a decent, wait, did I just get one star going the wrong way? I'll take that, thank you. And just up here on my right is gonna be our barn find territory. So. Let's see if we can find this thing. There's actually something through here. I don't know if it's the reflection of the water or if it's a building. No, it was the water, damn. What is this thing over here? I mean, that's not a barn, it... Never mind. that is a barn. Thank you very much, we will take that one. So what's gonna be inside of this yes, one? What is that? Jimmy. Muy bien. I mean, the Oscar said he was a Chevy Blazer, but that's only because he thought it sounded better. I'll call in some transport. I love the GMC Jimmy. I cannot wait to give that thing a go. I think that might end up being my favorite off-roader in Forza Horizon 5. Okay. Obviously, it depends what upgrades it has and stuff, but I am so excited to give that thing a go 
once it's done being restored. Anyways though, what should we go and do now? So I need 6,700 more accolades. So what do I have on my map? We do have this race that's actually right next to us. It's a point to point race and finishes up on the Eastern coast. So I don't know what's gonna be up there, but we can always figure it out. All right, here we go, Toyota Land Cruiser. You weren't exactly cheap to do all of those upgrades to. So hopefully we can actually get a win here with this thing to help pay for some of those upgrade costs. I love how we're racing to a proper Ford F450 Dually. That's the vehicle we stole the engine from for this thing. Doesn't stop. I have no brakes. Yeah, I'm not really sure if we're gonna be able to get a victory out here with some of these vehicles. There's even a Gladiator with its roof off and it has the upgraded doors. That's so cool. Come on, little Land Cruiser. You might be small, but you can definitely take down some of these bigger trucks. Okay, Velociraptor, please don't push me. I mean, considering we didn't go super try hard with all of our like race upgrades for this, this is not bad. We're already past the halfway point. We're in... Bro, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm trying to get victories out here and I don't want to use rewind. What is happening? Are you kidding me? What? I built... No! I wasted my money! Not once, but twice you had to do that. That is ridiculous. What a vehicle. Whatever. Land Cruiser, that was embarrassing. You might be really cool, especially with that big old front bumper on there. But um, yeah, I have a feeling rolling twice in a race is not really the best strategy to win. I mean, at least we still picked up 750 accolades. I'm actually gonna get enough XP to level up. All right, make it up for me, game. Come on. We had the worst luck there. Give me a nice we- Today is not my day. And here we go, pulling into my brand new house. No way, we've got back-to-back -back pink houses. Let's go, 700,000 credits for this. Can I just say, I love the location of this house. Wait, what? Are they actually giving me a Porsche 959 rally car? Okay, we may have spent a lot of money upgrading our Land Cruiser and it decided to flip over, but we can instead spend 750 or 700,000 credits, buy a lovely looking house in the jungle, and get a brand new car. There it is, the Pro Drive Rally Raid Porsche 959. That is awesome. No way, we've even got another barn find. It's the Ferrari F40. Here yes. I can't believe we found an F40. Keys are in the ignition. Enjoy. That took so long to get restored, but we finally got it. Let's go. And even the GMC Jimmy now is being fixed up. That's sick. Yeah, it's definitely a Ferrari V12, I can tell you that one. What an amazing car. This thing was definitely worth the wait. This thing is an animal. Anyways, though, that is where we're going to wrap up this episode of our Forza Horizon 5 Let's Play. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, subscribe for more. Don't forget to check our friends out at Thrustmaster if you do want to check out any of their racing wheels. I'll include a link in the description down below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon with some more Forza Horizon 5 gameplay. I'll see you then. Bye!